property shock and horror. The man who found a murdered teenager's body told a jury today how he discovered the beheaded remains. We also heard from the first detective who questioned the suspect. WBZ's Louisa Moeller has the details. Myself, you know, I thought I saw a dead body, but I wasn't too sure because, uh, you know, was missing some limbs. Witnesses described the grisly discovery. Lee Manuel Valoria Paulino's dismembered body lying on the bank of the Merrimack River. And the bottom half was actually still submerged in the water. And upon still inspecting it, we, we couldn't locate any hands to the body as well. His head downstream in a plastic bag. I opened it up just enough where I could notice an ear. Then, on day two of Matthew Borges' trial, prosecutors used surveillance video to lay out a timeline before they say Borges murdered and decapitated his high school classmate. These images showing the two leaving Paulino's Lawrence home in November of 2016 on the last night police say he was seen alive. Days later, when Paulino was still considered a missing person, a police detective questioned Borges, who told him the teens met to smoke weed at the river, then parted ways. The detective also said Borges had two different stories to explain why he had cuts on his hands. And he said that uh, he didn't get the cuts in a fight, that he got the cuts um, uh, when he was changing bike parts out. Paulino wasn't found until December. Testifying through an interpreter, his grandmother broke into tears remembering him. He would always give me a hug and a kiss and would tell me that uh, I love you, Grandma, I love you so much, and I would tell him, well, I love him more. Tomorrow we expect to hear Borges' statement to police after Paulino's body was discovered, and later this week the prosecution plans to bring the jury to the Lawrence crime scene. In Salem, Louisa Moeller, WBZ News.